Welcome to day nine of the 10 days of generative AI, where we are going to talk about vector search and vector databases. Now, imagine that you are not just looking for one book in that vast library, you want to find all the books with similar themes and characters and styles to your favorite detective story. How would you do it? You could wander the aisles, hoping to stumble upon related titles, or you could ask a librarian for help, hoping their knowledge aligns with your preferences. This is where vector search and vector databases come in. They act like a sophisticated GPS system for that map of embeddings that we discussed in the previous video. Vector search takes the query, which is your initial book or description of what you're looking for, and then translates it into a point on the embeddings map. Then it quickly scans the entire map, identifying other points, which is the other books that are closest to your query. These closest points represent the most semantically similar content, even if they don't share the same keywords. It's like having a librarian who instantly knows the exact location of every book that matches your interest. But where does the AI system store all those points in the map? Well, in a vector database, of course, right? Unlike traditional databases that store information in rows and columns, vector databases are designed to store and retrieve data based on its position on the embeddings map. This makes them incredibly efficient for similarity searches. They are like the library's supercharged catalog, organizing everything, not by alphabetical order, but by meaning and relevance. Now, real world use cases could be enhanced recommendation engines. Imagine Netflix understanding that you loved a quirky indie comedy, so it recommends other movies with similar humor, even if they don't share the same actors or genres. Personalized shopping experience is another example, an e-commerce site which knows that you're searching for a certain style of clothing, so it suggests similar items even if they are from different brands or have different product descriptions. Third example could be advanced question answering. Now a customer service chatbot understanding the intent behind your question, not just the keywords, leading to more accurate and helpful responses. Vector search and vector databases are revolutionizing how we access information, making it easier to find exactly what we are looking for even if we don't know the exact words to describe it. They empower AI to move beyond keyword matching and truly understand the meaning behind our questions. <clears throat> the result, a more intuitive, personalized, and ultimately more satisfying experience for users across a wide range of applications. Join me in the next video where I will put all of the generative AI concepts that we've learned so far in this series together into a generative AI architecture. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to not miss the next video.